Hello, I'm Ben, and thank you for purchasing Zena Home Never Rust Aluminum Pole Caddy. Today, I'm going to walk you through installing your new caddy. First, let's lay out all the parts for your pole caddy. You should have one spring tube set A, one twist tube B, two medium tapered tubes C, two long tapered tubes D, two end caps E, three deep wire shelves F, three tube collars G, and three hooks H. So let's get started assembling your pole caddy. Step one, measure the opening height to determine which tubes to use. This shower opening is 81 inches, and the chart in the assembly manual shows that you should always use the spring tube set A and the twist tube B. For this opening size, I will also use two long tapered tubes D. Step two, get one long tapered tube D and with the tapered end on top, slide a tube collar G down the tube. Make sure that the flat surface of the tube collar is on top and use the set screw to tighten it into place. Slide another tube collar G onto the tube. It should look like this. Repeat this process for the other long tapered tube D. Step three, place an end cap E onto the long tapered tube D, like so. Then place the tapered end of that tube into the straight end of the other long tapered tube D. This is your pole caddy assembly. Let's put this aside for a moment. Step four, get the spring tube set A and place the other end cap E onto the spring tube set A like so. Now let's put the spring tube set A aside for a moment. Step five, get the twist tube B and check that the tubes can easily slide up and down. If not, twist the outer tube counterclockwise. Once loose, place the tapered end of the spring tube set A into the twist tube B, like so. Step six, now take this assembly and place it on the top of the pole caddy assembly we previously built. Now with the poles assembled, we need to extend the outer tube of the twist tube B so that the assembly measures two inches longer than the 81 inch opening. Once it is at the correct length, twist the outer tube of the twist tube B clockwise until tight. Step seven, for best results, the area should be clean and dry before installation. Now, place the top of the unit against the ceiling where you would like it. Push up and move the bottom into place until the pole assembly is vertical. The last step is to add the shelves and place the hooks H onto the shelves. You can adjust the shelf location by loosening the set screw and moving the tube collar up or down and then retightening. We hope you enjoy using your new Zena Home Never Rust Aluminum Pole Caddy.